some of the pieces for the rib design. Let's gravity do the work. The layout for the production of the rib is going into place. The assembly here is one of the ribs. Each rib is a four-ply rib. What that means is there will be four of these placed together to create a rib. Then there will be 13 ribs and two verandales that come together to create the actual strong box. Tops up there. All right, the truss plates are now going in place. unit closer and they'll actually roll it right over the truss and in doing so that will take all the truss plates and push them evenly and correctly on top and bottom into the actual truss itself and that will take the, the, uh, the plate which as you can see here has a collection of sharp little prongs and each and every one of those will pierce or penetrate the wood but that's what grips it and keeps those pieces in place where they don't move. So they'll all get pushed into the wood evenly and that will finish off the actual truss portion of the rig. So every square inch is 2,200 pounds of force. So every 2,200 pounds of force per square inch for each truss plate. For the first passing, to press over the plate. Take this and take a look at what happens after they... All right, here we come. Now it's going through super torque. It's inserted into the press. Now as it gets rolled through that big bad boy, we're going to come outside with it now. And here we go. It's coming out the side now. We're going to take a look and see how much tighter it looks all those guys are. If you remember the gap before, you can take a look and see it now. It run it through once, and it's down to uh, to one thirty second of an inch is what it gets squeezed to. 
quite a difference. He's going to move this over a little bit. Yeah, sign your name on it. You got it. <laughs> Let's see here. It's like the, it's like an autograph for charity. Let's see. The architect signature. Let's see if I can get this somewhere. Where are we here? And we're gonna do this as well. DJR. Okay. There it is. You can see here. That's one rib. And that side part notches in. And the inner portions, those are the walls. And the, the uh, it's actually upside down. The bottom part of that is, would actually be the ceiling. And the top part that the forklift is actually holding, that would actually be the floor. Let's see if I can show you that. So this is upside down, but it's just easier for them to transport via the forklift than that. Than that. But each one will be self-contained, as I had mentioned before. Hopefully we got that for the conduit and the plumbing, the HVAC work, as they fit through each one. Again, these being upside down, the way they're transported. This is the floor. And the ceiling is over here on the bottom with the 2 by 10 And again, the way my hand can feel, this is how thick each rib will be. And they will be bolted together, fashioned so that they become one unit. And that would be one rib.